right, so today we're in Little Venice. Um, yesterday, about 100 meters down that road, I was nearly mugged, and Ben's car got broken into last night. But that doesn't matter, because today we're driving Hirohito's whip, and no one's going to mess with us. So apparently, originally when the Zephyr came out, you had to be invited no, no, to... No, step um, off the curb, please, because then we look like we're the same height. The Toyota Century originally came out, it was designed for the royal family and particularly the affluent businessmen and you had to be sort of invited to buy one. Kind of like a Ferrari Enzo, but a bit cooler. I'm going to make the case, this is the greatest luxury car of all time. They simply don't care how many rappers buy them. If you don't like it, if you think, oh, I'm not going to buy a luxury car that's got a Toyota badge on it, fine, don't care. If you don't get it already, by now, you don't belong in the club anyway. This is the limousine version. So this has a physical partition between the rear passenger compartment and the front compartment. I mean, the normal ones are rare enough, the ones that don't have the partition, and they're cool. But this, we're told, is the only one in the UK. Why it's been given to a channel with less than 50 subscribers is purely out of the good grace of the owner. This car is for sale. Look it up on Car and Classic, Toyota Century Limousine, 1994, if you are interested, if any of our 46 subscribers out there. <laughs> 48 now. Well, one of the extra two must be in the market. Have you ever heard a more solid motor? Whoa, uh, you see? <laughs> you did it! I did it! We've accidentally locked out our still camera. Ben found the button for the, for the center partition glass. Do you know what it was? It was when I lowered the passenger window, that automatically raised that, presumably not to disturb our driver. No, exactly. He does a hard driver, job. Yes. We pay him many thousands of yen. <laughs> That's not very much. Many millions of Many yen. Many millions of yen. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, we need that partition glass down because that's what's giving us the proper audio. This camera I'm holding my hand right now doesn't have a real microphone on it. Um, it's an omnidirectional nonsense. Um, is this the door opening? Let's have a look though. I found it. I found it. I found it. It was this button here. We're back. Can anyone read Japanese and tell me what that means? Presumably it means open peasant window. <laughs> <laughs> look at that clock. I like that a lot. Dude, look at that. That's an analog clock. I bet that's made by someone like Creed or like Grand Seiko or something like that, wasn't it? Top is... Japanese watchmakers. Because everything in this is just a tribute to the master craftsmen of Japan. Where did it start with you? See, as a kid, I didn't like Japanese cars because I didn't get them. As far as I was concerned, it was all Fast and Furious, which are movies that I still don't like. And there came a point, I think, when someone started to explain to me that Japan creates really boring cars for the rest of the world and then for themselves they keep the goodies. If you open up Pandora's box of what Japan actually keeps themselves and doesn't sell to anyone else, it's mad stuff like this. And I'm obsessed. It's so much cooler to me than anything like a Rolls Royce or a Maybach or a Bentley or anything like that. Probably because it's not marketed as much. You're right. They really don't, they don't try to sell it to you. They don't try to sell it to foreigners. They just, they, they, if you know, you know. Yeah. My infatuation stems from you because you introduced me to this oh. car then this car for me having learned about it from Alfie showed to me the importance of the narrative behind why a car exists in relation to its appeal we understand opulence and luxury in terms of lots of leather lots of wood lots of niceties lots of comfort lots of all of it Japan it seems that the opulence for this comes from the fact that you can't have it no. You can have a Rolls Royce if you're rich enough. You can have a Century if you're allowed to. So it's got a television back here, like a big mid-1980s television. If you turn that on, all that'll come up is, oh look, the Berlin Wall's coming down. <laughs> that's, that's what last played on the newscast there. This is my favorite bit though. This is um, a cassette recorder. We can open that up. 
and you can stick your old cassettes in there. You can play those through the radio, I, I believe. But more importantly, you can record your meetings back here. So if you're saying some kind of a mob boss and you're trying to out someone back in the day, it's this uncomfortable. Is the only car that has its own inbuilt wire. It's uncomfortable wearing your own wire, you know. You get, you have to go through the luxury of outing to the courts your fellow Yakuza enemies without having to wear anything uncomfortable at all. Nothing's ever going to crease your suit. All right, what else have we got back here? My favorite bit here, I mean, this is this is common enough in a lot of luxury cars these days, but I just... Oh, pardon? Oh, sorry. Do you know where that... Can you so, find it? There's a... Release here. Yes, pull on it. Oh! The softness with... I'm doing that again. Don't... No, oh, no, I'm not. Okay. Okay, some, someone's done a very dishonourable job of crafting that. <laughs> Mine goes up properly. There we go. Ben, you did not break this car. found it. Oh, I've got it, yeah. This bit here is slightly misleading because you imagine that to go up the same direction as the handle. What actually happens is you pull that down towards you, then you can lift this up because you don't want the driver to look in his rearview mirror and see what you're eating because then he might want some. <laughs> and he hasn't eaten in days. <laughs> and then we've got pull-out table. I feel like this video is getting too long, but I don't care. I want no. 20 minutes of this stuff. Oh, minimum. But I mean, I've got my own too. Mine's actually better than yours, man. Because, um... Yeah, it is. Mine's got a cool box in it. There's your fridge. Um, you got your little drinks tray there. I don't have drinks tray. You don't? <laughs> I'm on drinks tray. <laughs> We've got these immaculate, these really... The car's got its own lingerie. Delicate. That's what that is. <laughs> Victoria's Secret of the automotive world. No, exactly. If you were a Japanese businessman of certain tastes, you'd feel right at home rubbing your face along that. Do you this came from a vending machine too? Oh! <laughs> I bet you could buy used Toyota Century curtains from Japanese vending machines. <laughs> oh no. Three, two, one. Oh! It just feels like a bank door, doesn't it? Yeah, it does! It feels like a vault! Alright, you know what we're gonna do right now? We're actually going to, um, is it this button here? We're gonna shut you out and then we're gonna come join you in the front seat because while that's the inauthentic experience of the Toyota Century, no, we would never ever spend any time up there. Um, we're going to check it out because it has a number of its own quirks and features that we would be lament to miss out. Love you, Doug. Do you feel worthy? Do this. No! This car's older than me, and more opulent than I'll ever be. I believe this is the most comfortable driver's seat I've ever sat in. And it's got this vertical... It's not even a column shifter, because it's not in the column. I think you still call that a column shifter. On the tree, as the Americans would say. On the tree. No, I don't want to use an American saying around this car. It just feels wrong, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, it does. One nation on earth that would appreciate this the least. <laughs> no offense, Americans, but your 25 year rule does keep you internationally bigoted on the car front. <laughs> By law. I think whilst we've been here on the, on the side of the road trying to film this thing, we have had several people come up to us and ask us what it is. Quite a lot of people think it's like a Zill, like a KGB car. But then you say Toyota and they just go, what? And you're yeah, just like, well, and yes, this is it where is. it says it. So one thing that the owners just pointed out to us is that this is a four-seat car, not a five-seat car. And that's true. There are four seats in the interior cabin. Alfie and I would argue there is a fifth seat, but it's... It's for a third-class guest, let's say. Yeah, let's say someone you're at odds with, but you're a century owner, so you're still polite enough to offer them a seat. You're not polite enough to offer them consciousness while they're in the seat. I think you can fit two people in there actually quite comfortably. Well, they're not, not going to complain when their hearts stop beating, are they? My favourite thing about this whole thing that all centuries came with... ...one of these. The car was waiting outside while you're, while you're in a meeting or something like that. Your, your driver could be there. 
Just making sure the polish hasn't got any dust on it. So what, the boot is soft close. Can you shut it? Let's see. It shuts itself. It shuts itself in the mid 90s. I didn't Sorry. know the engine was already running. It's like an electric car. You can't hear this. It's a hell of a thing. I mean, if we pull these uh, lace curtains back, in just a moment, we're going to see the plebeian car that I turned up in today. Hello, little Citroen. <laughs> I miss you. <laughs> Not for the moment, we don't. <laughs> oh, there goes the petition glass. Okay, we're alone now. <laughs> we can use the intercom system. How are we doing back there? This is the maddest thing! This is the maddest thing! I, never in my years did I ever think I was going to get to... Someone got to experience this every day. No, exactly. We're too excited. We're not supposed to not smile. Okay, no, don't. Sorry, just want to get a shot of that. Electrically operated lace curtains. Why am I so excited? It's I just an electrically know. operated curtain. I don't know, but I've never been in a car like this. It's phenomenal. Beautiful canal beside us. So you can just appreciate the world. Just pull back this curtain just a little bit. Push that one forward. That, that was so strong, but not aggressive, that acceleration. And this Velar thinks he's got class. He doesn't. He has none. He doesn't. He thinks he's in a luxury car. He has no idea what he's talking about. And the ride comfort. Oh my god. Has this got coil springs? I believe this has coil springs. Unless they... How many months of development went into them? And how little bragging was done by the time they were finished? Yeah, because it's Japanese, so it's all about just respectful, just we go to work to do the best job possible. For the sake of doing the best job possible, not a promotion, not a pay pack. Well, I'm sure that you see, out. you see, Logan Paul. This is how you do a video about Japanese culture. Yeah, watch and learn. <laughs> no, this I choose you. And Hang on, I think there's someone driving over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, massage function, massage function. You want to try that? Okay. Oh my God, I'm vibrating. I'm gonna try it too. I'm gonna try it too. Let's see. It's just a soft vibration. Just gets oh you relaxed. My God. I want a cup of tea. Yeah, but it's, it's proper vibe. It's not this 21st century air bladder rubbish that just inflates and deflates and feels like you're on a dodgy waterbed. This is. Ow! Jesus Christ, that camera just fell on my knee. That was the least comfortable thing that's ever happened in this car. Just gonna go ahead. We've got to keep that in for continuity. Ow. Ow. You okay? It won't hold. It won't stay. <laughs> no. <laughs> this sucks as a shot. A 90s boy band angle, just like we out here. We out here grinding. We out here. <laughs> what it is, car? What it is? I want to turn the massage function off now because I feel like I am adequately massaged. I like this. Have you, have you seen this switch here? You can adjust the frequency. That's to adjust the frequency of the vibration. I didn't know that. Listen, listen, put your hand on the seat. Put your hand on my backrest. Yep. And then you ready? <laughs> Feels like an airplane taking off in it a way. It does. This is an actual vibration that is pulsating through the chair. And it's a chair. Like it's not a seat, this is a chair. Oh god. I never messed with that. I never right, messed with the climbing seats. Do you want to sort that out? Do you, want to just Do you want to try your seat as I just did there? So we've got this is for the, the under thigh support. Now I understand those symbols. They're not in Japanese. And then we've got This is first class. This is I'd like to go like 900 miles in this car. Yeah, I, I want to straddle Europe in a Japanese car. So your attention is demanded. Do, do you like to raise your seat again? <sighs> what do they want? Our quarterly earnings haven't been finished yet. <laughs> hmm? Yes? 
No? Okay, fine. There's a fridge also behind you. A There's a fridge! There's a fridge! We're being told there's a fridge! No, this this one, is the one in the back. Yeah. A secret fridge. And it's cool. So, so this, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. So this doubles up the cold air generated by the fridge can then come out of these vents and act as part of the air conditioning system. Genius. So your beer has two beer, sorry. Your Bollinger has two functions. I need to speak. No, no car will ever feel the same again. No. Have you seen the recliner Yeah, seen the recliner seat. But then there's. Down. Hang on a minute. And now, this is for a human. And then this, if your spine joins your cranium horizontally, like a chimp. Show me another car that accommodates ergonomics for a chimp. So here we've got classic 90s, vintage 90s. We've got an old telephone. Cordless? Cordless telephone? Cordless telephone. And do you know one of the things, I've never paid attention to this before, is the quality of roof lining. Secret. What, what is mm. it? What is it? Is it cashmere? I don't know. Feels like it could Feels be cashmere. like cashmere. But I'm just talking about this car is 26 years old. Yeah. And there's no sagging in the material, and it's a very soft material. And the lace curtains still look immaculate. And then you've got so many lights. This is a film studio. What? Oh, no, that's a vanity no. mirror. I look out of place. You do! We both do, it's okay. What's this? That's the switch for the Curtain. lace curtains. I'm satisfied. I'm a level of satisfaction I never thought attainable in a vehicle. So this is Issa, he is the owner of this 1994 Toyota Century limousine. So how long have you had this car? About six months. Six months. Yes. And you imported it from yes, Japan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how long did it take you to find? It's uh, three years. Three, yeah. three it's years very hard. to find it's it. It's very hard to find one of these. Did you know you wanted the limousine? Yes, yes. Right. I was looking for this model actually. That's incredible. And then what is the engine size on it? It's a V8. Yeah, it's a V8. It's a four litre. And how long did you say it was? How long? It's about uh, 5.8. 5.8 metres, yeah. which is longer than a Phantom, longer than... Is that longer than a Maybach? No, Maybach 62, because it's 6200 mil. Mm. Okay, yeah, so it's not as long as a Maybach, but everything it lacks in length compared to the Maybach, it makes up for in taste. <laughs> it's absolutely... Splendid. Okay, good. Thank you so much for letting us do this. Nice to meet you. Like, nice to meet you too. Thank you. It's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> I know this is a tasteless thing to say. Oh, go on. You're going to say it. Money can buy happiness. <laughs> We're closing on that. <laughs> <laughs>